Hi, in this video I will show you how to install the NVIDIA drivers on Ubuntu 2404. To start first of all let's check if you have any updates to do. As you can see I have to do some updates, and I see that they are also really very important. Before rebooting, I would recommend installing some essential things for the NVIDIA drivers of the second method, but also in general for the whole system so follow me. I leave these commands below in the description, copy them and open the terminal, and paste them. This will install some very important things and will also enable the 32-bit essential for games and certain programs. As you can see, I have already installed them and done everything, so the only thing I have left to do now is restart the system to complete the updates. I wanted to point out before continuing forward, that if you have secure boot enabled in the BIOS, the process will be slightly more complex. You will simply have to deal with this screen, if you don't want to deal with this screen I'll tell you what to do, in reality it's a very simple thing to do on that blue screen so it's your choice if you want to disable or enable secure boot. If you have a BIOS more or less like mine or better, go to the security section, and put a supervisor password. After that go back to the boot section or whoever there where your secure boot is, and here you can enable and disable your secure boot, so to show you now I'm going to disable it, after which I go back to the security section, and remove the password, just type the one you put before and as new leave it blank, then to save the changes go to exit and choose to save and restart, but I still leave it enabled so you know what to do for you who leave secure boot enabled. After rebooting, go and open the additional drivers. Here you will be shown all the drivers available for your video card, I will install the ones with the latest version. And be sure to choose the without server or open, see I will install the 535 without anything at the end. So click apply changes now, and be patient while the NVIDIA driver is installed. Attention, first of all I couldn't find an image with this message together with the Ubuntu driver's UI, but in any case you might get a message that says to create a password for those who have chosen to use secure boot. Write a password let's say 15 very simple characters, for example, the city you live in and your date of birth, it is very important because this password will be used for the machine owner key. After you have completed the installation, for secure boot users if you have written a password, remember it because when you reboot it will have to be used, so now reboot the system to complete the installation. For users with secure boot you have this screen, press any key because otherwise in 10 seconds this screen will disappear, after that select enroll mock, then select continue. Select yes. And here write the password you had written before, not it will show you the characters when you write the password, however after writing the password click enter, and also enter on reboot. I want to point out when you go to write the login password, click on this wheel at the bottom right, and select Ubuntu on Wayland. After that if everything went well with secure boot or without, you should have the famous NVIDIA panel, and inside there should be information about your video card and other things. As you can see everything went well for me, in fact I noticed details such as video memory, BIOS and many other details on the video card. To show you that everything is fine I'll show you that the GPU can be used on Blender 4.2, and I'll render an image of these beautiful super realistic donuts. As you can see everything went perfectly well, as you can see the image is perfect, without defects and it didn't take that long to render. As the next method which I believe is the best of all, is to install the NVIDIA drivers directly from the NVIDIA site, obviously I will also show for the users with the secure boot activated how to install this drivers, because it is a bit different from the first method. This is the site, I'll leave the link in the description. As you can see it has decidedly newer drivers, I love experimental ones and I'm going to install the 560 beta driver, which as you can see really has a lot more features. And then after choosing your driver, download it and have a little patience. After it downloads, go to where it downloaded, and open a terminal still in the file directory, and make it an executable. To do it write this command, you can simply write NVIDIA with an asterisk at the end if you only have one NVIDIA installation file, or if you have more you will have to enter the entire file name. Well now you have to execute the file with sudo, 
And just like before if you only have one file use the asterisk or if more you have to put the entire file name. I here recommend NVIDIA proprietary, because let's say perhaps it is better things. It will tell you warnings upon warnings that now session X is running I. E. You are not doing it in the recovery and also a warning that you are doing it another way, you select all on continue the installation. Now we will build the kernel modules, you need to have a little patience, it will take one minute, depending on the power of your computer. For secure boot users this message will appear, select sign the kernel module. Select generate a new key pair. Select yes. Attention, you have to save here the directory of this file that shows you in this message, if you accidentally clicked on OK simply repeat the whole process, however select the whole directory in short in the message and save it somewhere because it is crucial for those who have secure boot enabled. Once saved select OK. Select install signed kernel module. If everything went well with the initial commands, you should be given the option to install 32-bit libraries, select yes. Select no. Select OK. Select OK. OK now the NVIDIA have been installed but now we have to sign the module for the secure boot otherwise the drivers will not work. I found on a site how to do it, you have to take this command and paste the save directory of the file generated for the secure boot. After which copy the entire command and run in the terminal. Attention, here you have to create a very simple password but long like 15 characters. For example you could use your name or the city where you live and the year you were born. It is very important because it will have to be used in the machine owner key. So be very careful about which password you will write. Very well after that to complete the installation you have to restart your computer. For users with secure boot you have this screen. Press any key because otherwise in 10 seconds this screen will disappear. After that select enroll mock, then select continue. Select yes. And here write the password you had written before. Not it will show you the characters when you write the password. However after writing the password click enter, and also enter on reboot. I want to point out when you go to write the login password, click on this wheel at the bottom right, and select Ubuntu on Wayland. If all went well you should have the NVIDIA panel. If all went well you should have something like this, as you can see this version is definitely newer, and finally supports the Wayland session fully, as you can see there is also graphics information that was not there before, and it has the new EGL graphics library that is crucial for Wayland and some programs on Linux with Wayland, anyway yes everything is fine and there is really everything except the prime section. If you need prime open the terminal, and type this command. After that type the command sudo prime select NVIDIA if you want only NVIDIA GPU, Intel if you want only Intel GPU, and hybrid if you want both. Then restart the system to apply the changes. As you can see I can render my tasty donuts, as you can the image has been completed correctly. Also to show you further, I can download the games from Steam, and as you can see I am playing Asphalt Legends United smoothly at over 100 FPS. I can also play more complex games like Beam NG Drive, this game really requires a powerful GPU, however this beautiful game also runs at over 100 FPS. As you can see it uses my video card really not bad, 
Now this map is not very big and detailed so it is not too loaded my video card, but everything works perfectly. Anyway these were the two methods to install the NVIDIA drivers on Ubuntu but also on any other Debian system, but also on Arch Linux, Fedora and many others, especially with method number 2. If you have any questions or problems write me in the comments. Anyway I really thank you very much for your vision and attention, please leave a nice like to this video, subscribe to my channel, and activate the bell to receive videos always almost like these. But I think that now it's time to say goodbye, I wish you a great day, goodbye.